I'm going to share with you quickly how to uh, fix up an old game box. I bought these at a second hand store the other day. I, I've got a bunch of little games that I, oh, oh, antique games that I want to play with the grandkids. I've got a shelf I want to put them all on. And so I've been looking for old school kids games. And I found these two for a dollar fifty at a second hand store the other day. And I wanted to show you how to fix it up the front. Like they put tape on it and I can't really do much about that because it would rip the whole front off. But uh, the price tag rips some off up here and I just want to show you um, how I fix those up. Basically I use Sharpies. I have a ton of colors. What I uh, usually do is take the colors that are similar to the what I'm trying to fix and put a dot on it and um, see which one matches better. Um, this one I was just stupid. I just grabbed a red one and, and started filling it in, but if you can see here it kind of made it darker, a little bit darker. And then uh, I pulled an orange out and tried the orange and it was perfect. Up here you can't, you can see how, um, you can't even tell mostly, I had done some of the red already a little bit, but the orange fills it in and you can't even tell hardly. So I did this side with the yellow um, and the red orange color. So these are the colors that I ended up using that were the closest. And and you can see they don't really look, they always look a little lighter, but they go on a little bit darker. And, the, and where you can see this is red that I had done earlier. So I wanted to show how the orange actually was a better choice. So you can see Oh, well, that's a lighter orange. Which one was it? Oh, it must have been this one. This is, a, well, this is what I do normally. I grab one and then I try and fill it in. See, you can see this is the orange that I used. Oh, you know what? It's on tape. That's why it's not going on very well. Um, and then you d I just fill it in. And you can't even tell where I'm filling it in. It's very, very similar in color. So um, go through and get similar colors and then just try them on it and and see which one works best. So uh, this yellow kind of is like an off, but it, it actually goes on pretty well. And I did the same for this. Um, these ones were, this was the orange that was lighter, I guess. That one and then this one. And uh, so I did this half right here with those and you can see it, it uh, hardly any noticeable difference and then I did not do this side and you can see it not done. So done, not done. And then um, on this one I did this side. So this side is done and this side is not done. So normally um, I'll tape it first um, and then I use a glue stick if there's anything ripped. Now on this cootie one this whole inside was ripped off on both sides and I just used a glue stick and glued them back on and since they had already put tape over the top and the here I didn't um, tape these other sides um, normally I would do that from the inside using clear tape I would just get it a piece and then lay it and then push it in the corner and then stick it down on this side and uh, and it usually works pretty well but since this one was already taped on the top from the store I'm, I'm not going to mess with it I'm just going to um, have it on up on the shelf. So I think what I'll. I thought that was really cute. I'm sad I'm missing a couple of the eyes, but what a cute old gift brings back lots of memories of playing it when I was a kid. So there's that one, and then um, I've done this. I probably have 20 old games, and we've had fun. I I sometimes will videotape us playing and and show how they get played. Um, and this one's kind of fun. It's just got these supposed to have these little suction cut things on the bottom, but I don't think it would matter too much. Anyway, check out my blog, The Secret is Gratitude. Check out my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude. And uh, I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.